welcome back. Here at Between Clean Sheets, my goal in the off season is to provide you with enough knowledge and analysis in order for any fan of soccer to appreciate MLS. And with the preseason well underway and United prepping for the CONCACAF Champions League quarterfinals, I wanted to run you through some basics that will help A, elevate your tailgate chatter, and B, kind of give you some perspective for when you go to some games this season. I want to make this as simple as possible, sort of a girlfriend's guide to DC United. Some of you guys may find this video to be a total snooze fest, but if you intend on inviting any friends to games this season, be sure to send this video their way and leave some of your personal experiences in the comments below. So let's start with the basics. So the 90s was a time to be a United fan. We were one of the founding teams of Major League Soccer. We won the MLS Cup in 1996, 97, 99, and in 2004. We're actually the most decorated team in the MLS, winning more than just MLS Cups, but all of that I'll get to later. Bruce Arena served as our first head coach from 96 to 98 and left to head up the men's national team. Arena holds the highest win percentage of the seven coaches that we've had since our inception. Bob Bradley, also of men's national team fame, was his assistant coach at the time. Bruce Arena has been with LA Galaxy since 2008, and Irish striker Robbie Keane recently called him the most successful manager in America. He also compared him to Sir Alex Ferguson, and if you're asking yourself who Alex Ferguson is, you might actually need way more help than I thought. In the beginning, we saw some amazing talent at RFK. A couple players to remember. First, Eddie Pope. We might have known Eddie Pope was destined for greatness when he walked onto UNC's soccer team his freshman year of college, despite being there on scholarship for football. He was picked second overall in the draft in 96, he played central defense, saw DC United through three of four league cups, scoring the game-winning goal against LA Galaxy in 96. He made 80 appearances with the men's national team and scored eight goals. He was with United when they won the CONCACAF Champions Cup and the Inter-American Cup in 1998. Bruce Arena even said he was and is the best center back the US has ever produced. I could do an entire video on the legend that is Eddie Pope, but today I think we're trying to keep it simple. Next is midfielder Marco Echeverri, who was named to the MLS Best 11 for the first four years of the league. He had goal of the year twice, was MVP in 1998, and is generally considered one of the best soccer players to come out of Bolivia. He's quick, he's tenacious, he's creative, he is a true number 10. He also has the nickname El Diablo. Jaime Marino is another great Bolivian player. He played forward. He's also the reason why I had to refilm this entire video because at one point I accidentally pronounced his name Jamie. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Anyway, he played from 1996 to 2002 and again from 2004 to 2010. He scored 130-ish goals for us in his time at DC United and was named five times to the MLS Best 11. A couple years ago, he was the technical coach for our academy team and also the coach for the under 23 team. I'm not sure if he still is, I'm still trying to figure that out. Let me know in the comments. These three players, along with Jeff Agus, were named to the all-time MLS Best 11 in 2005. Other honorable mentions include John Harkes, Roy Lasseter, uh, Christian Gomez, Ben Olsen, Freddie Adu, yada yada yada. Speaking of Ben Olsen, he is our current head coach after playing for United from 1998 to 2009. He and Bruce Arena are actually the only two coaches to be honored as MLS Coach of the Year while with United. And for very different reasons too. Unlike Bruce Arena and the powerhouse that was DC United, Ben Olsen has actually seen our team through some very dark times and has one of the lowest win percentages of any coach we've had despite coaching at RFK for the longest time. I was in over my head. He was honored as Coach of the Year in 2014 after seeing us bounce back from the 2013 season where we only won three games all year and were considered to have the worst season in MLS history. A lot of tried and true old school United fans are not Ben Olsen's biggest fan. I know this because I've actually seen a lot of them hang out on the internet. Player Ben Olsen, arguably fantastic. Coach Ben Olsen, not so much. But if you're interested in a fun fact, Ben Olsen actually officiated fellow teammate Nick Romando's wedding in 2005. If you remember anything about Nick Romando, he now plays for Real Salt Lake and has made several appearances as goalkeeper for the men's national team. All this to say, DC United has yet to live up to their mid-90s glory. If you take one thing away from this video, it should be that. I do still feel like I have so much to cover. The new stadium deal and how it's progressing, different supporters groups, the infamous tailgating experience in Law 8, maybe touching upon more of that anti-Ben Olsen sentiment I mentioned earlier. I do have a lot more to talk about and I hope that you bear with me as I figure out the lighting, filming, video editing, etc. of this whole process. Please follow me at BTWN Clean Sheets and I look forward to bringing you a few more videos before the regular season starts. <laughs>